Okay, so I just got myself a new 24 inch iMac and I'm gonna show you the basic steps on how to get it set up from scratch. So I've already plugged it in, I've plugged in the power on the back, I've got my wireless keyboard and my wireless mouse all hooked up with batteries inside and it's ready to go. So let's switch the new computer on. So there's a switch on the back. So it's going to do some initial steps first. Now what you want to do as well is on your mouse, on the back of your mouse, you've got a little on switch. So you want to just flick that on, which I can't do right now. There we go. So that is now on. All right, and you'll see a little green light show up. On your keyboard, on the side of your keyboard, you've got a power button here, okay? So you want to turn that on as well. And you'll see a green light show up on the front of your keyboard. Okay, so that Mac is now started up. Are we going to select the language, which I will select as English. Now the keyboard and mouse have automatically been detected. I didn't have to do anything to set these up. I just turned them on, ensure that the batteries were on, and it just found them automatically. You may need to do a little bit of configuring. It may need to ask you to detect them. Um, you may not, okay? Select your country. So I'm going to select Australia, which is where I am. It's a built-in screen reader. I'm going to talk to you as well. And let's say Australia as well. It's going to then look for a wireless network. Okay. If you have one, if you don't have one, you can continue, but let's just select uh, my wireless network, which is this one here, and put in my password. Continue. All right, so now on this point, uh, you have an option of what you want to do. If you have a Windows machine or an older Mac computer, you can select to transfer data from one to the other. Okay, if it's a Mac and your machine has been put into target mode, your old computer, then you can select this and you'll be able to transfer your data nice and easy. You can also do it from a time machine backup. So if you were running an old Mac computer and you had time machine configured on a hard drive, you can also select that option, plug in your time machine backup and you can restore it that way as well. Uh, if you have a Windows PC, if you're transferring from a Windows to a Mac, there's an option for you as well. Or don't transfer any information now. So we're going to select don't transfer any information now. Okay, then you sign in with your Apple ID. Okay, so let's just put that in. and click on continue. Or if you want, you can create a brand new Apple ID if you don't originally have one. All right, so if you put in your credentials for your Apple ID, it would have pulled up some information automatically, your name, uh, account name, um, and then I've put in my password that I want to use. You can put in a hint in here. My password sounds like or whatever you want to put. I'm going to leave mine blank. Do you require a password to unlock the screen? Uh, so if it's in screensaver mode, do you need one to unlock it? I'm not going to do it, so I'm going to say no. Allow my Apple TV to reset this password. I'll leave that ticked. Set time zone, yes. And send diagnosis to Apple, sure. Do you want to register your Mac? Let's say we want to register it. So this is going to save your information of your Mac uh, on the Apple ID that you have so that it's easier to track when you have to go to the Apple store for any maintenance. Okay, and that is pretty much it. So that has installed uh, the basic configuration. All right, so your Mac is now set up all the basic configuration has been done on those first few setup screens. The first thing you want to do is now configure your Mac. So if you open up System Preferences, you can also access it via the Apple window. You can configure a whole bunch of things. In general, you can do 
your appearance. All right, so you can actually change it to look like graphite and the highlight color, let's select red. And we will leave the rest as default for now. Uh, we go into show all into the back and we can go into the desktop. We can configure the desktop background. We can change the screen saver as well uh, in the dock. So the dock is the part down the bottom. You can select magnification if you want to make it uh, have this nice little genie effect. So we just make that a bit smaller so it's easier to see. All right, so that's just a nice effect that comes on all the Mac. So you can configure that and a few other settings. Uh, mission control is used to display a whole bunch of things on your computer. You can use um, what's called hot corners. So I can say my top left, when I move my mouse over to my top left, I want it to go to the desktop. So if I select OK, if I go to the top left, it goes to my desktop automatically. So that's just a really handy thing to have. Mission Control, have a little play with that. It has some really cool features like spaces and everything as well. You can also do shortcuts with uh, your keys. The languages, you can do security. You can change uh, your firewall settings. You can encrypt your data as well. Uh, and there's a few other things. You can also change your resolution. You can change the energy saver. So how, how long do you want your computer to be on before it goes to sleep? So let's just set that. For example, we can set the hard drive to go to sleep when possible. We can have the network wake it up if it, if it has activity as well. Keyboard and mouse settings, a trackpad settings if you have, your sound settings, um, configure your iCloud, your network. If you're connected, to, say, to a wireless network or to a, a, a network with a network cable, you can change the IP address if you need to. Uh, a lot of people don't need to, but that option is there if you need to change it. All right, and then if we go back to the menu, what else have we got there? So we've got um, users, for example, you can actually create a new user. So if you created a user by default, you can now go and set you know, family members or friends to have user accounts. Um, you've got uh, also startup disk, time machine for your backups, uh, sharing, which is a really cool feature. So you can share things, you can change the name of your computer here. So let's just make it media server, you can do like share, screen sharing, or you can do the remote management, which has a lot of cool features. So let's just tick all these options so that I can actually manage my computer remotely and control it, uh, connect to it all, you know, all automatically remotely as well. We can also put in some additional computer information in there if we need to. All right, so that is some basic configuration settings for your Mac, which just make it just look a little bit prettier and a lot more um, customizable to you. All right, the next step is to copy data from your old computer to your new Mac. So you would have already configured a few basic things and now you've got your old computer, your old Windows or your old Mac and you wanna copy data. So you can do it through the external hard drives that I've got here. So you could copy the data from your old computer to a USB drive externally and then plug them into your new computer and copy the data back. So your movies and your music and all those sort of things, etc. So if we look inside the finder here, you'll see that pictures and music are currently empty. So we want to fill those in with music and pictures that we would have had on our previous computer, whether Windows or a Mac. The other thing that you can also do as well is other than uh, using an external hard drive, you can also copy the data using the network. So if you've got the computers on the network, you can actually go to go connect to server and connect to that computer. So if you need to know the IP address, that's the first thing, the IP address of your old computer, which that is what it is. AFP is the protocol for a Apple computer and SMB is the protocol for a Windows computer. So if you're connecting to a Windows, you use SMB. If you're connecting to a Mac, you use AFP. So that is the IP address of my old computer. I've got the necessary sharing set up and I can just click on connect and that will connect to my old Mac and open up the, the directory structure so that I can actually go and copy the data that I need. All right, so you'll see local hard drive has been shown up in there. So I can click on okay and you'll see applications, library systems and users. So within users, it'll show up my accounts, all right? And then I've got documents, movies, music, pictures, etc. 
And then all I do is just copy the data from the old one to the new one. So I can just select the iPhoto and that miscellaneous folder and drag them in, or I can right click and copy, and that will start copying over. And you do exactly the same thing for your other drive. So your music, we go into music, we select everything that's inside music, including my iTunes library, and drag them over. And that's it. So that's copying the data between the two devices. So if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up.